We're now ready to define a measure of voting power in a weighted voting system. And this measure is referred to as the Bonsoff Power Index. And that is calculated as the following ratio. For each voter, you count up the number of times the voter is critical. So you look at all the winning coalitions and you count up the number of times that voter is critical and then you divide by the number of times that all voters are critical in all the winning coalitions. Okay, So you do that for each voter and that gives you your measure of power. Okay, so for example, let's look at the uh, previous example again and, and find the Bonsoff Power Index for each voter. Okay, so let's go back to that chart where we have the winning coalitions given there. Okay, so we see we have uh, four winning coalitions. That's all we really need to look at. We don't need to bother with the non-winning coalitions. And then for each voter, we count up the number of times that voter is critical. So for R, let's see, R is critical in this coalition and in this coalition. So that's twice. R is not critical in this coalition, remember, because R can be removed and that leaves DI, which is a winning coalition. And then we divide by the number of times that all voters are critical. Okay, so R and D here, R and I here, and D and I there gives us a total of six. Okay, so for R, we have a power index of one-third. And it's actually exactly the same for D and for I. So each of the voters has power index one-third according to this calculation. And then notice that the sum of all the uh, Bonsoff power indices uh, comes to one. And that will always be the case if you've done your calculations correctly, then the total of the Bonsoff power indices must be one. If the total is not one, then that means you must have made a mistake somewhere.